Carrie K. Steele, President of the Board of Commissioners. Due to COVID restrictions, we cannot celebrate like we did last year, but this ceremony will be made available for all of our employees, the public, to see on MWRD.org. At this time, I would like to recognize my colleagues. I would like to recognize Vice President Barbara McGowan, Commissioner Kimberly Neely Dubuque, Clay, Commissioner Ada Corral Sepulveda, Commissioner Cameron Davis, and Commissioner Mariana Sparopoulos. Thank you for your presence, and of course, we'll all speak in order. Last year, we raised the Black Heritage flag at the MWRD for the first time to highlight the importance of African Americans to this country and to the MWRD. We pledge to continue the work of providing equitable opportunities for employment and contracting at the MWRD. Currently, we are reviewing our affirmative action program, looking for ways to increase participation for the underrepresented groups and for the disadvantaged communities. This year, we raise the flag. This year, as we raise the flag, let us recognize that the rich history of black race did not begin with slavery, but rather began on the beautiful, innovative continent of Africa. African Americans in this country are the descendants of kings and queens. African Americans in this country are the descendants of the originators of numerous creations and treatments that have led to the formidable success of this country's economic power. Success in which African Americans have systematically been denied the opportunity to equally participate in whether either socially or economically. We remember that history, we honor that history, and we celebrate that history. And as we forge ahead with our commitment for social and economic equity, because it is right and it is just. At this time, I would like to introduce once again and bring to the podium our Vice President, Barbara McGowan. Steel. I'd like to begin by thanking all of you for coming out this morning and making us look good. You never fail us, and I want to thank you very much. I want to acknowledge uh, Tommy Harlan Clay and Ray Brian Curry. These are the two gentlemen that are going to be raising the flag up for us this morning. So let's give them a hand, please. engineer, two from the Calumet plant, and Brian primarily works for us down here out of the main office. I want to recognize Beverly Sanders over here. She has, she has with her some gloves. I don't want anybody passing out anything to anybody car unless you wear a glove, because you have to touch that person's hand and that person might want to shake your hand. So everybody, please wear the gloves. I really appreciate it. We're trying to maintain uh, six feet. Are we doing that up here? Okay, thank you. <laughs> if we are in a pandemic and we have to make adjustments and do the best that we can do to make sure that everybody's safe. That's the most important thing. The red represents the blood of African people that shed for liberation. Black describes the people of African descendants. And the green represents the continent of Africa and all of its natural wealth, the land from which African people descended. I am not going to continue to talk. The president did say each a commissioner up here would speak. I'd like to ask them to be brief so that we're not all standing out in the cold too long and we can start passing out the bad. We do have bags and we do have black calendars for you. So once again, thank you very much. I'm going to call you up in the order in which you're standing. Commissioner Duplicate, and then you introduce the next commissioner. You introduce the next commissioner. How about that, y'all? Okay, thank you. 
Good morning. I am going to keep my comments brief just to say welcome and thank you for coming here to help us celebrate the kickoff of Black History Month. Thanks to my fellow commissioners, thanks to President Kerry and Vice President Steele and Vice President McGowan for pulling this together. Um, I look forward to this, con this continued tradition and particularly next year we can all gather together. So next I'd like to call up my colleague, Commissioner Ara Co Ada Corral Sepulveda. <laughs> of Black History Month in February. I'm of the belief that we should celebrate Black History 365 days, but in February we'll make it a little extra, right? I also want to um, really commend our Board of Commissioners because this was a, uh, a historic flag raising last year and it was quite impressive and it was followed by several other government agencies. So I commend you in taking that first initiative, President Steele, Vice President McGowan, and the rest of the commissioners and our staff that have supported it. It really shows how innovative we are in pushing forward for inclusivity and in equity. And I'd like to introduce Commissioner Cam Davis. Thank you, Commissioner Kadal Sepulveda. Thank you to President Steele, to Vice President McGowan. And um, what a great day to celebrate, even though it's kind of cold. Uh, this is a great reminder why the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District is not just in the business of providing clean water. It always needs to go the extra step to provide clean water for everybody, uh, including our most uh, disproportionately impacted areas, um, and make sure we're doing it uh, by treating everybody fairly, equitably across the board. Thank you all for coming out today. Thank you, Commissioner Davis. I'm Commissioner Mariana Sporopoulos, and it's my honor to join my colleagues today in celebrating African American History Month. Thank you to President Steele, Vice President McGowan, my fellow commissioners for putting this event together. Very important that we honor and celebrate the contributions of the African American community and everything that they have done for the creation of this great uh, nation that we uh, celebrate. And thank you for everyone coming together today. Enjoy. I want to take a minute to introduce the committee that put this event together. Uh, Beverly Sanders, Allison Ford, where's Virginia Berry? Oh, she's back there with the home sign. Now, I'd like to bring up one more person, and that is the executive director of the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District. Will you please come and join me, Ryan Perkovich. Uh, thank you, Vice President McGowan, and welcome, everyone. And I want to thank everyone for coming today on this historic event. And uh, I look forward to seeing the flag raise uh, today, and not only today, but really all year long. So thank you. Mark. She runs an organization that of various uh, subject matters, and I'm going to let her tell you about them very quickly. But she's one of our subjects this morning, month simply because she runs a veteran program and has 150 veterans in that program, male and female. Dr. Lockhart, can you be brief for me? Good morning. Thank you, Commissioner McGowan. It is, it's an honor to be here this morning and representing Af um, our African American Month. This is exciting for me, and I'm thankful for the opportunity to share our program on the west side of Chicago, which is the Adelaide Resource Institute. And we work with veterans, and our concern is veterans. We know that the suicide rate among veterans is very high, and over 20 veterans are losing their lives every hour, every day. Our job is to make sure that we give them the tools how to continue surviving how to let them know that there is hope, how to let them know that they don't have to choose an option, that they have options to choose. And we provide various services for veterans, and we provide those services that will make sure they have a life that's enriched and full of joy and full of hope, to let them know that someone cares for them, and we are there every day, giving them the tools that they need to keep moving forward. Thank you, Commissioner, for allowing me to share with you 
the program of the Arthur Lockhart Resource Institute. Ryan and Tommy, you're going to raise this flag right now. Yeah.